afternoon guys how are we all doing it is currently wednesday so obviously alfie's with his dad and i thought that i would just pick up the camera and start vlogging and just show you a few bits that i've got because i've got loads of packages today and yeah i just thought i have a little bit of free time i've pretty much just been cleaning like most of the day i still need to sit down and edit the haven vlog which I hope will be up by the time that you see this anyway but I need to do that today at some point so this vlog may be a little bit like choppy changey but I just thought that I would pick up the camera today because I haven't in a little while in a couple of weeks and I do still really want to continue my YouTube journey because I absolutely love it. Sorry for the state of me today I honestly look so rough I have no makeup on although I did tint my eyelashes and my eyebrows last night but my eyebrows have gone a little bit orangey but oh well it doesn't really matter i've just shoved my hair up in a clip and yeah i mean the day is getting on it's getting away with itself i think it's like yeah it's quarter past two now so i really need to start getting on and doing a few bits but i've just tidied the living room and hoovered and everything anyway yeah i did just want to like show you a couple of packages that i got today because i'm obsessed with them i'm also using my tripod as well which is so weird because i haven't used my tripod in ages but i'm just bored of having my hand like constantly out here so it's just easier for me to just hold the tripod it's just annoying because i just hate the stand on this thing i don't know i don't know if i'm doing something wrong but it's just really really flimsy but anyway it's irrelevant so this tracksuit how gorgeous is this tracksuit i've literally already got it dirty and i literally got it today so this is actually from sarah mart which is now called haku they very kindly gifted me a few bits i'm not obliged to like show the bits or anything i'm just really really impressed with them so that's why i am showing them because i literally love them so i got this in a men's medium so it's just a tracksuit and obviously i am 21 weeks pregnant now which i forgot to say i cannot believe how quickly this is going i'm almost 22 weeks pregnant as well so obviously me being pregnant and having this little pregnant belly this goes over perfectly so i am so happy with that i'm literally i'm gonna live in it i just think it's so so gorgeous the only thing from them that i was not impressed by but this is nothing to do with them this is actually my own mistake it's just something that you have to be cautious of so i got these new balance here which are so so cool like i actually i love them the only issue was that i didn't realize that they actually do us sizes as well as uk so this was a they were a us four and a half which i think is like a uk three and a half maybe my feet are not a small four like i'm probably more of a bigger four to a five so these yeah they're a little bit small for me so i think i'm just gonna like give them away to someone or put them on like facebook marketplace or something however they did come in like an actual like box and everything and then i also got some adidas ones which i'm going to like show you now these however i did actually get right so these are adidas campus shoes i think well that is what they say on the side anyway but these were actually a four and a half uk so totally totally my fault i should have really looked to see if it was usa or uk i just kind of assumed but these definitely fit me so much better i did swap out the laces because they did come with white laces but i swapped them out to the green ones but i also might go and get some white ones as well because the white ones that they came with are a little bit thick so i want to go and get some thinner white ones and see what they would look like but guys i'm in love like how beautiful are they obsessed and then the last thing i got was this jumper as well which again gorgeous really nice and oversized so like perfect for me with my growing bump and i'm just really excited to wear that i love something with a little bit of color sometimes i just feel like i stick to too boring colors and stuff and it's just nice to venture out a little bit you know but i just want to show you guys that because i was so so impressed especially with this tracksuit this is my absolute favorite i'm gonna pop to either home bargains or bnm in a minute because i want to get alfie some easter bits this will probably go up after easter i'm not gonna lie i don't know whether i'll have time to do it before because i still have to edit the haven one but if not if you're seeing this before easter then just know that i am on my i am 
on it. But yeah, I'm gonna head out in a minute. I might film a TikTok for it and not film on my camera just because I find it really overwhelming when there's like loads of other people just looking at you. And I'm not, I always think that I'm gonna get told off for filming as well. I don't wanna like whip my camera out and be like, oh yeah, so here I am in Home Bargains. And then they're like, um, can you put that away? Like that, I would actually, I would shrivel up. I would actually just shrivel up. So there's just no point in me doing it. I might film a TikTok for it and then I will insert the tiktok here i have left easter too late are we surprised no so i decided to go no other than home bargains to see if they had anything i'm not gonna lie it's been a little while since i've done a home bargain slash b&m trip was i like only just going for easter stuff absolutely not they had the sunshine escapes the flora which is my absolute favorite they also had this springtime one so i decided to try that one instead i picked up a couple of bits that we needed i just love this section of home bargains so much that bath pillow was so pretty and their range of carmex is unmatched as you can see they are definitely getting ready for summer it makes me so excited seeing all the fans all the sun cream this dove tinted moisturizer it's my favorite to top up my tan halfway through the week they had all their sunglasses out so obviously i had to try a few some of them were actually so nice but oh my god how muggy look at the label <laughs> i absolutely loved these they give me such birkenstock vibes then i thought i'd found the easter section there was literally nothing for alfie other than this lolly so i just picked that up when i got a few cleaning bits of course i had a little gander of the baby section and they have some really beautiful bits i picked alfie up a new moisturizer and then i went and looked at all the sephloras they also had some really nice wooden weaning plates and oh my god does anyone remember these candy sticks i was obsessed i should not have but i picked up one of these juicy drops i don't know why it was just calling me i felt about 14 again but i was living my best life because the trip was so unsuccessful for what i actually went for i popped around to the new b&m and oh my goodness my parking is just not it is it this is a new store near where i live and like sorry but this is a floral range it's just not the same as home bargains i picked up some more cleaning bits acting like i hadn't just spent 30 quid in home bargains this is my favorite eyebrow gel and it's only 4.49 in here all the bougie girls have those really cute vases or vases whatever you want to call the them. candle selection was definitely better than home bargains oh my god i was loving it and it was so quiet i was literally just free to browse whatever i wanted they had such a nice summer range guys i picked up that plate for alfie and then they actually had croc dupes for six pounds so i got those black ones then i thought i'd struck gold again when it said easter and literally this was the entire aisle i guess alfie's easter egg is a white chocolate button one i thought i'd give the last attempt at poundland found a few little bits but nothing major i honestly think i've just learned my lesson that i've just left it far too late someone remind me next year please so we are back and as you have seen i did not manage to get pretty much any easter stuff i did pop into poundland right at the end there though and the only things that i managed to get were these bunny ears and clip-on tail because i thought that alfie would probably quite enjoy that one of these like white i think it's white chocolate or maybe it's milk chocolate i don't know one of those bunnies and then i got him a small white chocolate buttons easter egg because i know that my friends and family are gonna buy him like huge ones <coughs> sorry i actually need to stop i know my friends and family are gonna buy him like huge ones so there's no point in me buying him a huge one and then i bought charlie this kit kat chunky one which I'm pretty sure that's not the one that he wanted but i really don't care at this point but everything else that i got i mean i ended up going into b&m as well because i knew that there was a new b&m built um in the retail park near me but i've never been in it before and it is the biggest b&m that i have ever been in in my life and to be honest i haven't really been in that many like i usually just go to the same one so i kind of assume that they were all the same size but this one massive literally massive i could do some severe severe damage in there but i chose not to and i only spent 16 pounds in there which i was actually pretty proud of i did get a few nice bits i mean i haven't even tried these on yet. this says like three to four and i'm a i'm more of like a four to five but they only had three to four or five to six hold on i'm just gonna try these on and actually make sure they fit me i did keep the receipts for everything but obviously if there was more easter stuff then i would have gone more mad but well i wasn't gonna go too mad anyway but i wanted to get a little bit more than what i did to be honest but at the end of the day he's only two so i just need to know that next time when he's three and when he's a little bit older the best place that i found was asda and that was when we just come back from haven and we went to asda and did our big food shop and there was so much easter stuff and i thought no it's too early lesson learned it's never too early also the reason i got these in black is because i do have a white pair and like a brown pair so i thought am i actually ever gonna find a black pair for six pounds probably not and to be honest these fit me absolutely perfectly do they look like crocs not really but i'm not really bothered i mean for six pound guys come on but yeah i did end up getting a fair few things i got some fabric conditioner i've never actually smelt this one so let me just smell it oh oh my goodness 
that is gorgeous i'm so glad that i picked that up um and then i also got some varnish whiter than white so because i went into both stores i went to b m and home bargains i had like the best of both worlds because a lot of them have things and then like the other one has like the the other one has the things that the other one doesn't have if that makes sense so i ended up getting a fair bit like the reason i got this was because alfie's hair goes like absolutely wild so i thought i could fill this up with water and use that as like a spray bottle to sort his hair out in the morning and then i got this i don't know what this smells like either oh 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 my goodness that is gorgeous oh i forgot i got this as well actually it's a like easter lollipop with reusable straw so i can just put that i was thinking of just reusing that basket that i gave that activity basket that i gave alfie for haven when we went away i was thinking of just putting like the easter stuff in there because he doesn't know does he like realistically he's not gonna know i'm quite concerned because there's an ambulance coming down my street that's a bit concerning i don't know what's oh oh okay so i got the fabric conditioner and the spray bottle i got them both I, th I feel like it might be for my neighbor sorry i'm getting really distracted but i feel like it might be for my neighbor because there's no way there's no other reason why an ambulance would be parked outside here um anyway i got the spray the fabric conditioner is it fabric conditioner or did i just say that about this this is clothes conditioner like softener and this is fabric conditioner for like your sofas and that so i got this in the same scent as the spray yeah so that's going to work really really nicely together i didn't realize that they even had like a um fairy 61 washes pack like that is that is a lot i really really hope my neighbor's okay i'm actually quite worried because he's literally just moved in but he's a really really nice guy and he is older but i just don't really know what his health is like so that's a little bit worrying and then i got this Zaflora springtime spray now my favorite one is normally the sunshine one which is like the summer one that is my absolute favorite Zaflora, Zaflora spray that i think they've ever done but i thought i'm always up for trying a new one so this will motivate me to clean so much i'm just spraying this all over my clothes by the way because i'm really not that arsed let's spray it on there oh that does smell really nice oh yeah that is really nice i can't actually remember what the sunshine one smells like now but i remember i used it literally religiously last year so sorry i'm just really like concerned about what's going on here yeah it's definitely for my neighbor poor guy i really really hope he's okay weirdly enough i know this is so childish but I picked up one of these you would have seen it in the video i was literally just mm. there was a phase in my life not even that long ago like a couple of years ago where i was literally religiously using these oh they're just so so good but once the once the like sweet gel stuff has gone i'm not interested oh and as she says that sweet the sweet gel stuff has gone anyway i think i'm gonna pack this stuff away and then i'm gonna get on with a few jobs around the house then i really really need to sit and edit my haven vlog because it's probably coming up to like four o'clock now alfie will be back around maybe seven but i have to start dinner at like half five six ish so i really 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 need to make a move and crack on um, but yeah let's do a little clean up buying new cleaning stuff really really motivates me so really excited to use this guys i hope you're all doing really really well sorry that the vlog cut off the other day i can't remember what i ended up doing i think charlie just ended up getting home um so i don't really, I don't really know what happened there but yeah anyway it is a new day today it's a few days later it's actually good friday i just filmed the end of last week's vlog which you would have already seen so 
this vlog will be on the back end of that but yeah so it's good friday today i have not known what to do with alfie all day because we had my mum and charlie's mum over this morning to drop off easter bits and stuff like that so obviously i could we didn't really want to go anywhere because every, like a lot of places are shut anyway on good friday alfie, alfie. you saying your name Alfie eating his crispies, that's right. So yeah, haven't really been able to like make any plans because everywhere, not everywhere, but all the like kids places are closed and stuff. And the weather's been a little bit off and like on and off. But at the moment, sorry, the bad thing continues. The weather outside is quite sunny. So I've, I've wrapped up, I've got Alfie dressed and I think we're just gonna go and head to the park and just have a little walk around because there's nothing really else to do. And to be honest, he is so like more than happy to do that. We were gonna go back to my mum's, however Saints are playing today, which means that like the whole of Southampton is just absolutely jam packed with Saints fans and traffic. So I don't think we're gonna do that anymore. But I just wanted to show you some of the Easter bits that- oh. Alfie's house, this is Alfie's house. I just thought I'd show you some of the Easter bits that Charlie's mum and my mum got me, Charlie and Alfie. So this is from Charlie's mum. She actually crocheted this little bag. How cute is this? I'm trying to let him, not let him see any of this because obviously he'll want it. But we have some really, really cute like summery clothes for him. I think these are from either Matalan or Asda, but they are so, so cute. And look at the little shorts. I love, I love them so much. And we've got some chocolate and a little pepper pig pepper pig um milk chocolate egg which my mum also got and then she also gave us 30 pounds in a card i was like i was like girl 30 pounds 30 pounds for easter it's far far too much but i appreciate it so so much and then my mum also got alfie a pepper pig corn and then some reese's because alfie loves peanut butter i've actually tried him with reese's so i wonder if he likes those and then she got him a little pepper pig book another bunny and then this is mine and charlie's eggs and cups which are i'm pretty sure exactly the same so yeah i just thought i'd show you guys what they got us because i found it i find it really strange like i don't know what i i find it strange as in like i don't know how to keep up with the different events because every event people just seem to go overboard but i think what they have done is it's obviously too much but it's perfect it's like the perfect amount i feel like some people just go really over the top with all the balloons and all the presents and if that's like what you do for your child then that's absolutely amazing but i just kind of want to keep like easter and make, like maybe halloween and just like a few events a little bit more low-key like how it was when i was younger because i really enjoyed that and i never never needed like the whole shebang you know um but yeah alfie just poured his skips all over the sofa haven't you i don't know where that jacket's from i think his dad maybe got it for him and then he's just got some little cargoes on and some new brown shoes from next so i think we're just gonna head out now and just do a little park crawl because there's nothing better these pockets on this coat i really do my head in because they have like sticky stuff all in them and i really can't bother to change it so that's that okay we have park number one i don't know if i'll take him to the other one it's actually really warm i'm in a coat and i'm absolutely boiling so that was a mistake i don't know whether i'll take him to another one because this one's just really really easy and he just has a really good time so i don't know if there's any point in me taking him to like a further one up the road but we'll see if we've got any time are you putting your car on there mummy's absolutely boiling hey well done oh careful <laughs> he needs to learn to pick up his shoes you need to learn to pick up your shoes don't you wind that wind is slightly slightly bitter you want you want to have a go okay having a little Belvita breast 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 milk <laughs> Belvita biscuit break aren't we? Hot game. 
Oh, be careful. You, If you want to sit down, if you want to have your biscuit, you sit down, okay? Daddy. Or do you want Mummy to take it for a minute? Daddy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Daddy. Go on then. Ah. Off you go. That's it. Honestly, this weather is so summery. It is making me feel like I'm in the middle of summer. That sun is so warm. It's so lovely. It's just so up and down, isn't it? Why do we have to live in the UK and why does it have to be like this? Why can't it be like this all year? I'd be such a happier person if the sun was out like this all year. Like, I wish this was our winter. I find it crazy that in a few months time I'm going to be sat here with a newborn while he's running around. So I guess I need to soak up all the time that I can sort of have just sitting and chilling in the sun. Mama, come me. Ha. Mommy can't come down the slide because of your sister, remember? Nanny, car. Nanny's car's not out there, is it? Nanny's at home. Nanny, work. <laughs> Nanny's not at work, she's at home. Right, guys, we have actually been back for a little while. Yaya, work. Yaya's not at work today because it's Good Friday. Did you know that Mummy was born on Good Friday, but it's not actually her birthday today? Are you singing happy birthday? Uh, happy birthday to you. Happy yeah, that's it. So we've been back for a little while now. It just got a little bit chilly, but he had a really, really nice yeah. run around. And I'm just uh, finding life with my bump and everything. I know I'm not even that big yet. And I, know I might sound like I'm really complaining, but... She just kills me, guys, honestly. I'm wearing this um, belt here. I don't know whether I've actually got it on right, but I think it's from, like, Baby Go. My mum sent me the link on Amazon, so I ordered it. I've done a TikTok video, but I don't know if I'm going to post it because I don't know whether I... I don't know. You know, if you're a content creator, you'll kind of know that sometimes you'll create content and be like, mm, I don't know if it's worth actually posting or not. Oh, in the house. That's it. I think I think he's okay in the house, isn't he? Do you want mommy to open the house? Uh, uh, Alfie, do it. Um, but yeah, this is actually so so good. It's kind of just taking the weight off. You're supposed to wear like a strap on top as well, and then it kind of like lifts your bum up. But I actually just kind of prefer it for my back and stuff to just have it without the top strap. But that may change as I get bigger. Um, but yeah, I'm so hungry. I just sorted out all of the Easter stuff. It's it's up there, but I can't be bothered to actually get up. Let me just zoom you in. Nor the um, fabric softener, <laughs> the fabric softener and the room spray. But that's all the Easter stuff there. So I've just given that a big sort out and put that on the table ready for Sunday. But guys, I'm just so hungry. Like I've been like picking on chocolate and crisps and stuff all day. So I had a really, really big breakfast. So when I have a big breakfast, I tend to kind of skip lunch, which probably shouldn't do but that's just what i do because i'm not really that like hungry to have like a full meal anyway so i've just been like picking and i think me and charlie are gonna have the fries vegetarian chicken burgers later um so i'll film making that because honestly they're the best the best chicken burgers ever like they're so good the way that we make them so we bring you along on that because i'll probably be in bed by then I'm, i think i'm gonna put them down to bed early just because he's been awake a lot of the day i don't think he's even slept i went to put him in his nap but he was i went to put him down for a nap sorry but he was literally just rolling rolling around everywhere the whole time so i don't think he's actually slept so i think i'm gonna do his dinner early and get him bathed and ready for bed and then i don't think where charlie is charlie's actually out with his friends so then hopefully by the time that i've done that charlie will be back and then we can make our chicken burgers for dinner. Right, I'm just setting up Alfie's dinner now, but how have I never seen this girl before? Staring at the bottom of the glass, hoping one day you'll make a dream like She is amazing. Her voice, I can't get over it. I think she's got like 400 and 400k on TikTok. So obviously she's like done pretty well. What's her name? Um, Abigail. I can't, I think it's, yeah, just Abigail, but she is unreal, like, uh, if she doesn't have a record label already, someone give the girl a record label, because I want all of her music. Her voice is actually just, warm. Hello, gold of the hour. I'll leave it to sun when it starts to snow. So, I've just done Alfie some fish fingers and fries in the air fryer, but 
I haven't done a very good job of them, I'm not going to lie. They've kind of, they've gone a little bit gross. <laughs> I think I just burnt them. Mummy's not very good. Do you know what though? I'm actually really good. Sorry, this light is actually horrific. I'm actually really good at like making a meal from like scratch, but you tell me to put stuff in the air fryer and I burn it every single time. So I don't know what that's about. I think it's just because I leave it and I just don't, don't ever check it. Mm. Right, this is what I've made for him. Really, really quick and easy. He's absolutely knackered because he hasn't slept properly today. I feel like you're... If you're a two year old, if you're a two year old, if you have a two year old, it's either that they really, really, really need their nap still, or they literally just don't nap. And he is one of those kids that really, really needs his nap. Are you gonna sit down then? Sit down on your table. That's it. Good boy. Right, it's a little bit hot, isn't it? <laughs> I love it when he does that. He does this thing where he like tenses up, don't you? Mm. Mmm, lovely fish fingers. I really just made this meal for me, guys. Also, that's the. This is one of the plates that I got from B and M. Look at him trying. Oh, darling, that's it. That's better. Well done. Got to be a little bit more steady, don't you? Ready? That's it. Um, but yeah, this is the plate that I actually got from B and M from my B and M and Home Bargains haul. Well, I say haul, but my video that I put on TikTok that I also uploaded on here. That's it. Good boy. You eat your fish finger. I think he absolutely loves the fact that it's like split up. So I stopped using them for a little while. Sorry, I got my mouth full. I stopped using those plates for a little while with like the separate, purely because we got some from Ikea. And it was just easier to put it on that plate. But I think he really, I, I think he prefers it when it's separate. So then he can choose what he mixes. Because he's just put the beans there on the chips. But I don't know whether he would have wanted that. So, yeah, I think that's really good. I'm going to go back and get some more, actually. I'm absolutely starving. Charlie's still out with his friends. I could literally, oh, look. I left myself some leftover chips there. Mmm. Right, so I don't know whether I showed you these exact shoes. I'm pretty sure I did. I got them in the Sarah Mart um, haul that I did the other day. Sorry, the package with my address was literally right behind there. But I think I said that the laces that came with these were very, very thick. So I wanted some thinner ones. So I ordered these from Amazon. So I'm going to take the green laces out and put the white ones in and see what they look like. Because I do like the green, but I think the white would go with like the bottom the bottom sole a bit better so i'm gonna do that and see what it looks like so i've just swapped out one side and i definitely prefer the white laces guys you have to let me know what you think but i am definitely all for the white laces i think they look a little bit better just because you don't want the green the green to be like too overpowering but i'm gonna keep the green just in case i do want to wear them but yeah i'm definitely gonna swap this side as well because I just think they look really, really nice. If your child likes Blippi and won't brush their teeth, this is the best thing that I have ever done. When I tell you, we used to have... I used to have to pin Alfie down and because he was screaming so much because he didn't want to brush his teeth, I would then have to brush his teeth whilst he was screaming. Are you going to do your teeth with Blippi, Alfie? Do your teeth with Blippi. This is the only way I've managed to get him to do it where he actually wants to do it as well. And it's not just like this huge nonsense and like nonsense, nuisance and like inconvenience to him. My camera battery is actually going to die. I'm going to have to put you on charge quickly. Um, but yeah, if you're struggling to get your child to brush their teeth, just try them with Blippi, even if they don't like watch Blippi because he, well, he absolutely loves Blippi, but yeah, best thing that I ever did. Right, well, I almost just set the whole place on fire. Yeah, not quite. <laughs> you never know, it could have, if I carried on, if I left it like that, it could have... No, it wouldn't have set a fire, but it would have been very smoky. Basically, there was something in the oven that I'd left in there. Not like I'd left in there, but there was, like, crumbs in there where I hadn't cleaned it. And it... I think it was close to setting on fire, to be honest. It just started smoking, like wild um alfie's in bed but i don't i'm worried that the smoke alarm's gonna go off which is why the extractor fan's on even though it gives me a literal aneurysm to listen to it but i'm just that's what i thought that's what i thought 
Um, but I did say that I'd come back and show you how I make the chicken burgers. The alarm goes off, I can turn it off. Just have something at the ready to whack it. I can, I can reach it. Okay. The reason why I'm using the grill is because I always melt the cheese on the burgers because it just it just does not hit the same if I don't do it. Sorry if it's so so loud. I can't turn that fan on but off because it will literally it will probably set the fire and I'm off and I really don't want to do that right now. Um, but Charlie has two burgers and I have one. I've got some of the Tesco's own fries. These are actually really good. I'm not like the biggest fry fan. Like I would have some like McDonald's or something like that but most of the time I'd always go for chips. Just because I think if you can have a pick of a taste with it, why not? Like you, you get more of it. Um, but these are so cheap and they're really good actually. So. so I've just got burgers out of the grill. This is what they look like with the melted cheese. And then I also add, do I just, no. I also add hash browns to the mix. I really need to clean these air fryer trays, like actually fully soak them. Obviously we clean them after every use, but they just get so grimy so quickly, even when you clean them after every use. Hash browns, absolutely essential for a burger. Normally though, I wouldn't put a hash brown in say, like a fake beef burger. I'd only put it in a fake chicken burger. I don't know why, it's just been like a ritual that me and Charlie have done for so, so long now. Right, Charlie's gonna want mayonnaise. I absolutely hate mayonnaise. So definitely not for me. I'm just gonna put that on Charlie's bun. And I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna have ketchup mine then i'm actually going to put gherkins on again i think most people would probably only have gherkins on like a beef burger but we just love them no matter what then i'm going to put the lettuce on and don't want whatever sauce charlie would want in there but i just put my bun on top and then i'm just going to put a little bit of salt on there that's not even i don't know what that is i think that's butter we have our burgers so that's mine with the hash brown and everything and then that's charlie's with the mayo gorgeous 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 girls eat food like this what other sauce do you want do you want ketchup or do you just want barbecue you've got mayo in there that's butter on the top of that just okay oh, i've got a no a no caffeine pepsi as well in the freezer don't worry i don't drink it frozen it's just <laughs> to make it cold quick these are so so good like i'm actually gonna buy them even when i'm not pregnant purely because they are so much cheaper than regular pepsi and they taste exactly the same and then you're not going to sleep at night like buzzing wide awake because you don't have the caffeine but they're so much cheaper and they're so so good right we're gonna sit and enjoy this we've also been watching outer banks which we're quite enjoying it's not the best series i've ever watched in my life not the worst either do you want a fork nah, um but it's good so i'm gonna sit and enjoy that and enjoy my gorgeous gorgeous dinner So the reason that I was whispering is because I've literally just got Alfie in bed. I only finished work like over an hour ago, almost two hours ago. And I just want to say that I'm really, really sorry that I've been slacking on this video. I haven't filmed in a little while, but I've just got Alfie to bed. And I just thought that I could spend the evening with you because just to finish off this video, I don't know how much footage I've already got. I feel like I always say this, I don't know how much footage I've got, but you guys know that I do like to make my videos like half an hour longish so yeah i just thought that we could spend the evening together seeing as charlie's staying out tonight at his dad's and alfie's gonna be asleep in two seconds because he hasn't really slept today according to his dad so i just thought that you could spend the evening with me because i've got nothing else to do and why not my makeup looks absolutely terrible i don't f oh yeah you can see it oh that is so bad so bad i've been at work literally all day um it's saturday so i was working in the pub and i just feel like whenever i open like the dishwasher all of the steam comes up and it like melts my makeup off of my face it's so so gross but yeah anyway i'm home now <sighs> me and bump we are bumping everyone is 
so incredibly shocked that I'm only 23 weeks pregnant today. Everyone thinks that I'm literally like about to pop like full term. Don't know how I feel about that. Anyway, I've got a couple of vintage parcels through. I have no idea what these are. These could be for Alfie for all I know, but I know that I've ordered some maternity stuff for me and some stuff for Alfie. So I'm have a look at these and try these on if they are for me. Okay, this is something that I've been wanting to try for ages. Okay, they're both for me. Let me move you because the light's actually pretty shocking. I like you're far too low down there. I need to create like a, a manual tripod. I do have my tripod, I just can never be bothered to use it. Okay, I think we're good. I have literally, I have to wear maternity clothes pretty much 90% of the time now because my pump is just too big. And I don't know what it is, like, I know that I carried big with Alfie, but with her, with this baby, it seems to literally just be a whole different story. Like I'm literally carrying humongous already. Well, that's what everyone tells me and that's how I feel. So I pretty much like living in maternity or oversized stuff, but I did come across this brand called Lasula and I was genuinely obsessed, obsessed with their website. Like literally so much I was obsessed with. I had like over a hundred pounds in my basket and the reason why I was obsessed is because a lot of their like dresses and stuff, they're not maternity, but they're one size. So they're like size six to 16. So obviously for me, that's good because I can fit in it while pregnant. I can probably fit in it while I'm not pregnant. And I had so much in my basket, but then I was like, oh, I haven't even looked on Vinted. I went on Vinted and searched up like the dresses that I wanted and literally all of them came up for half the price. Like some of them was literally like a couple of quid. So I ordered one from there in blue, which I've tried on and I absolutely love. And then I've just, the, this is the orange one that's just come. So I'm gonna try that one. So this is what it looks like. It's got like a little collar buttons down it like that. I just think that looks so cute. Let me try it. Oh, just look. 23 weeks today <sighs> okay this mirror is really really small but i love it i love it it's gorgeous it's going to be absolutely perfect for me to grow in i mean she's already big but you can see just like that coming out to like there is still going to look good i just think the material is perfect for summer i love the like collar and stuff it makes it look a little bit more casual I think that is beautiful and they do so many on Vinted as well, I've only ordered a couple but I'm going to order like the rest of the ones that I've seen I think now because I'm obsessed with them. Stunning, in love. And the other thing that I ordered was a little bit more like this time of year appropriate, well when I ordered it, it was still quite cold in the UK but now it's going a little bit warmer so I don't know if this is actually going to fit me but it's from Boohoo. And it's a maternity like flared jumpsuit. I wish I would have seen this earlier because I think now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, I probably will still be able to wear stuff like that to be fair. Okay, bump looks great in it. I love the v-neck. That's something that I've learned about myself recently is I much prefer like low neck tops rather than tops that like come up to here. I don't know why, I just feel really suffocated and then I feel like I have like no neck. So this is definitely a win in that sense. Love the like flared, but this is the only issue with stuff like Boohoo. Like wh who are they making this for? They make this for giants because that would literally drag along the floor for me. But I do really, really like it. I think it's really flattering like on my bump and stuff. So I think I'm just gonna have to cut the bottoms, which is slightly annoying, but it is what it is. I mean, I can't really complain this was so so cheap but i love it i need to get into pajamas now because it's coming up to like eight o'clock i need some dinner i had mac and cheese for lunch at work but normally i would have something like quite small so i had mac and cheese which is i had the 600 cow one which is literally just mac and cheese and salad and because i was expecting i knew that charlie was going out tonight but i didn't know that he was gonna go and eat out like he said that he was eating here so i like always save myself to come home and eat with him and then literally as i'd eaten my mac and cheese he was like oh i'm eating out tonight now i was like oh i mean fine but you could have told me like before um so i wasn't really i'm not really that hungry but 
we do have two pizzas in the fridge so i think i might just put one of those pizzas in because okay I, I, I definitely need to eat something so these are the pizzas that i got for me and charlie i got this one for me because it's smaller but then i got him this one with this like huge stuffed crust and stuff and like this one's already open so i think i'm just gonna have this one or do i just save both of them for me and him like on monday or something maybe i do that I did have chicken burgers last night, but there's one left, and these are really good. They're from Aldi, they're the spicy chicken burgers. And I also have some mozzarella sticks that I haven't opened yet, so I might just have one of the spicy chicken burgers again, because there is one bun left over as well. And then also some mozzarella sticks. I think, I think that might be the better option, you know. These are literally unbelievable. They taste so much like chicken, it's actually scary. No idea how long these are going to be in for. I have air fryer instructions, but normally they like blow up in the air fryer. Not blow up, but like all the cheese comes out. And that's not the point of a mozzarella dipper, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, I don't need eight, do I? And then we do six. Oh my god, what am I doing? I just put the mozzarella sticks back in the cupboard. Right, guys, food is in. I am not gonna lie, I am staring unbelievably at the easter section <laughs> that is on my table right now look how much stuff we actually have like we had more than this and i actually ended up sorting this out the other day i just i can't get enough of ferrero rochers guys they're my literal favorite things in the world i could demolish probably like two packs of these in one go the thing is i do feel like we just got a bit too much like when is too much too much I think this is probably too much. Mm. The absolute best of the best. Apologies if you can hear the heater. I have an actual like unhealthy obsession with my heater. It's not even cold. It was like 17 degrees today. It's April. It was like 17 degrees. I'm still sat here with the heater on my legs. Like I could literally be in 30 degree heat and still have my heater on my legs it's that bad i don't know why i'm so obsessed with it because it cost charlie an absolute fortune in bills and he literally tells me i'm like oh it's fine i'll just pay you the extra the extra money just so i can use my heater i don't know why i love it so much anyway i've had my chicken burger now i didn't want to sit and film me eating it or anything because i'm pretty sure in like the first few clips of this video I made chicken burgers with Charlie then. I don't want to like do all that again because it was just a little bit boring. But it's now seven minutes past nine. I keep getting this software update notification that I literally couldn't care less about. Like I don't, I don't want to update my phone, but it just keeps telling me every two seconds that I need to update my phone. Anyway, it's time for me to take my makeup off and I hate this time of night so much. I really need to thread my eyebrows as well and um, wax them. I don't wax mine. I need to thread my eyebrows and tint them. <sighs> do I do it? I really don't know if I can be bothered. I need to take my makeup off anyway, but I've gotten so lazy <laughs> with taking my makeup off. So the cleanser balm I'm using at the moment is the e.l.f. one. The only reason I'm using this one is because it's just easy to get on Amazon and obviously you can get it next day. But normally I would use like the Beauty Crop avocado ones and stuff, but I just... I could not not use a cleanser balm now. I'm so lazy with it because I used to like, I used to like proper, proper go in and wash my face and I don't do that anymore. I literally just rub it all in and then take it off a baby wipe. And honestly, my skin is really not bad at all. I have barely got any spots, touch wood, three times because I can't be dealing with a breakout right now. But my skin is actually not that bad. And I don't know whether it's like a pregnancy thing because I'm obviously taking like folic acid every single day and stuff like that or whether it's because I've just like cut my skincare right down because I used to be really really harsh on my skincare and I used to like cleanse like four times a day which is a really good look <laughs> I used to cleanse like four times a day because obviously you're supposed to double cleanse when you cleanse your face so I used to use 
Oh my god, I can't see. So I used to use the e.l.f. cleanser balm or whatever cleanser balm I was using. And then I would go in and double cleanse with my Aveeno one as well. But I haven't used that Aveeno one in a little while. And I don't think it's anything to do with that cleanser in, spe in specific. Specifically, I think it could just potentially be... It's probably a pregnancy thing, let's be honest. But I think it could also potentially be that I've cut, like like proper proper cleansing my skin out because my skin is really really oily using a baby wipe is probably the worst thing i could possibly do for my skin but hey ho here we are right do i thread my eyebrows because if i thread my eyebrows they're gonna be so much easier to fill in tomorrow and it's my i'm going out for my grandpa's 90th birthday meal can you actually believe he's 90 years old like how do people how are people actually that age I can't even comprehend it, but anyway, I'm going out for my grandpa's 90th birthday tomorrow evening. So if I do my eyebrows, it will save me so much time. Not even that bad. I think I'm just going to do it because otherwise I'll regret it if I don't. Oh, lovely bit of black in my teeth there. Sorry about that, guys. I used to actually get my eyebrows threaded all the time when I was younger. Like when I was like 14 years old, always used to get my eyebrows threaded. But they would make them so, so thin. And you are actually supposed to tint your eyebrows first before you thread them because it can, like, cause irritation. But I've never found that. So I just do it the way that I like it, which is thread them and then tint them. But if I was working on, like, actual clients and stuff like that, like, you, you can't do it that way. No, I'm too hot. <sighs> I don't know if this is big enough. It's supposed to be the length of your forearm, but I feel like I may have made this a little bit small. But I literally just make it into like a figure eight and it's literally just like that and then that's your controls I think I have made this one a little bit too small and you just pop it over where you want to thread and pull this side and it I'm sorry there is nothing more painful than threading I would rather I'd rather wax the only thing I don't like about waxing is that it loosens your skin like it loosens your like makes your skin like more flabby also, if you like do eyebrows and stuff, please don't don't knock me for my technique. I learned this in college, like five, six years ago, maybe five years ago. So obviously I haven't had like any like proper training since then, but it's just how I remember to do it. Like I don't I don't want I don't do what anyone else, don't worry. Future Daisy here to come in and end this video. I thought that I had a ending like clip for this i'm sure i did and it was me like showing you my eyebrows after i tinted them and everything but i've completely lost it i have no idea where it's gone so basically my eyebrow tint just didn't turn out well because i didn't mix it well and i didn't like it so i took it off early um but yeah i'm just editing this video back and i realized that it was missing so i just wanted to obviously end this video i feel like i'm constantly doing this on every single video i'm always ending it later and i'm so sorry but i don't think that's ever gonna change from me but um yeah anyway thank you so much for watching sorry this was a little bit of a long one i will see you in another video soon if you like this video please give it a like subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already and leave a comment down below if you wish to do so and other than that i will see you in the next video bye guys